If you haven't tasted a custard apple yet, you're in for a treat. They're like pudding from a tree. But unlike most puddings, custard apple are a healthy, sweet treat. They have low GI and are therefore a good source of energy sustaining carbohydrate with fiber, protein, negligible fat. They're also an excellent source of vitamin C, B6, magnesium, and potassium. They're at their nutritional best when eaten ripe, so it's important to select well. A ripe custard apple is light green in color. Between its bumps, it will be even lighter and it will have a plump, filled out appearance. When overripe, the fruit will start to blacken. You can check it's ripe by gently squeezing it like an avocado. If it gives slightly under the hand, it's ready to eat. Once ripe, you should eat it within two to three days, as any later it will start to blacken. It's better to buy an underripe custard apple and leave it to ripen than a ripe one which may become damaged and bruised during transport. You can accelerate the ripening process by placing it in a paper bag with a banana or simply leave it in a warm area between 18 to 24 degrees with a cover to retain the warmth. Once they are ripe, you can store them in the fridge for a couple of days, as any longer they will blacken. There are two varieties of custard apple, the pink mammoth and the African pride. You can either pull them apart with your hands, or, as it is easier to do with the African pride, cut them open with a knife. Inside is delicious white flesh with black seeds dotted throughout. The flesh can be scooped out with a spoon or cut into slices or wedges. And the black seeds are easily removed using the tip of a knife. You can either eat them as they are, turn them through a curry just before serving for an exotic twist, or use them in a variety of sweet, delicious dishes.